Uh, but uh, we're going to talk about the breaking news we received today. Coaching news coming out of the Springbok camp is that uh, head coach Jacques Nienaba will be vacating his post as head coach uh, at the end of the 2023 Rugby World Cup in France. Yeah. Big news, Swiss. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Big news goes uh, straight to the coach. Massive news because, yeah. you know, when... I tell you why it's massive news, what happened in New Zealand. It was the big talk. Why announce it now, that everyone said. I remember the media down there went crazy, yeah. you know, with, with Razor being yeah. announced before the time. Now, this is, is not the same because we, we don't know who's the new guy, but it's, it's very interesting. Is it the right thing to do? I'm not sure. I haven't thought about it really. Yeah. I got to, I, I'll have to sit and, and analyse uh, uh, first. Over to you two. Well, what's quite interesting is <clears throat> when they sent out communication about their future, they said they were staying on post the World Cup. So I'm quite surprised now that this is coming out now. So when did that start, that conversation start with him going into to Leinster? So, and also, like you just said now, announcing it now, what are we trying, what message are we trying to get across, you know? So it is very shocking to hear and interesting in terms of the time. Mm. Is there a right time, though? I don't know. Is there a right time? No, I, I guess with these things, obviously, there's two parties. One party want, wants to announce that they've just made the signing of Jock Nino, but the other one said, listen, hold on, can't we hold it off till the end of World Cup? And then it leaks out. You, you get to mm -hmm. a mutual agreement where someone's got the news and you pretty much want to jump the gun. You don't want to you know, play catch-up, you know, because just imagine this being in the newspapers or News 24 tomorrow morning. Um, you know, the fallout for that for SA Rugby will be a media nightmare. So you jump the gun and you yeah. say, listen, you know, this is a story with Jock. You know, it's it's a unique situation because, you know, he was on a long-term contract with, yeah. with the Springboks and, you know, always felt like your gut feel said, like, OK, he's going to go through this World Cup and mature as a coach and let's see how far he can carry it. Maybe maybe do a third World Cup. So, you know, it's an interesting move because Leinster has not lost the game this year, you know, and, and the only thing we can think is Stuart Lancaster must be moving off as director of rugby and then they've got to make a decision where Jock fits in. You know, Leo Cullen's head coach, you know, he hasn't had a lot of success regarding winning trophies, but he's had massive success regarding a win rate in the URC and in European Champions yeah. Rugby. So uh, it's a big call. We all know Jock's, you know, bread and butter is defence. Yeah. Yeah. He's a great defence coach, the best mm -hmm. there is. Yeah. So, you know, whether, you know, he jumps into a, a bigger role or he becomes a coach or a defence coach, you know, it's a, it's a big value add for Leinster and sad for the box to see them go. Mm. But I think the biggest thing is now, as much as this news is shocking and it would have taken a lot of people by surprise, there's no need for us South Africans to panic. True. Especially because of the personnel that we have in that squad. And I doubt, I don't think for any second that his focus won't be on the World Cup and defending the World Cup. And I think it is nice that we have that experience from those guys. And uh, they would possibly, I'm sure they would start to speak about it. And it shouldn't affect at all uh, the focus and trying to defend the trophy. Yeah. How do you keep this kind of noise out as, as a as That's a the thing. That's why when Skulk said it, you know, making me think you can't keep it down. It will leak from the other side and then it becomes speculation and why didn't you mm. tell us? Mm. So uh, in a positive side, he's open. This is what happened. I'll give my 100%. And guys, I was fortunate for 16, 17 tests with Jock. He is meticulous in his work and his defence and his preparation. And they will not go for a guy who is not really right up there with the best. He is, in my opinion, I've never seen a, a more brilliant defence coach as him. Uh, so, uh, uh, we don't know what his role going to be. The, I presume that'll be his role if I think about it. But, but, then, but then saying that, this, guys, this might be a blessing in disguise. I'm just thinking now, shouldn't we now, and then before the World Cup, skulk you taking over from him, come with us, just listen, get mm -hmm. used to the coaching culture, to the Springbok culture, the way they do it. Maybe that'll come. Because I, I you know... Uh, where, and then the, everyone's question. I know my neighbour is going to ask me at home yeah. straight away. Yeah. <laughs> I've already what, had two yeah, ask me who takes over. Yeah. What about Rossi? Where is he going to fit mm. in? Because we know Allah is they like this yeah. Yeah. For, from their army days. Yeah. And uh, where is Rossi going to fit in? And, and a lot of guys ask, are they strong together? Or are they strong separate? I say they're a fantastic unit together. Mm. They flip them good. They are so good in what they're doing. So that'll be interesting, you know, what is, what's going to happen with Rossi. How about you? Would you go back? <laughs> uh, if I want uh, troubles, I'll buy an old <laughs> <laughs>
Don't be that bad. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. No, no, no. no uh, will you please withdraw that question? <laughs> withdraw and come back. <laughs> Statement withdrawn. Yeah, so where's, where's the Rossi going to fit in in this whole thing? Because they are such a unit, you know. Yeah. So who takes over? Is it too soon to speculate about that? I think that's a better question. You know, just knowing them, you said it, it doesn't happen overnight. Th these talks must have been carrying on and on. Yeah. There's money talk, there's the period, uh, how long is the contract, mm. all these things, who's the players, what is the expectations. So all these things play a role. This didn't happen yesterday, yeah. uh, for sure. So I think he's, the fact that it's out in the media now, you must have had his talks with SA Rugby. And surely they are thinking now straight away, this is the plan for it. Are we going to keep it quiet for the next guy? Will he be part of the guy like the All Blacks doing? That's going to be interesting to see now. We've got something to talk about again. Yeah. yeah. Will it not be in-house? You never know. You never know. Uh, if you ask me now, I've I, I got to be honestly say to you, Stix has got to come into recognition sometime. He's been with them for a long time with yeah. Rossi there. And you said it earlier. Mm. You know, with Rossi there, he can still give him direction. He can still... Stix was a captain of the Sevens. He's, he's, he knows the, the, the culture and the values of the Springboks better yeah. than anyone. Yes. Uh, maybe it's time for an in-house guy to take over or come with a massive surprise. You, the beauty about our game is you never know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I can't see us announcing the next coach this year, uh, unlike the, the All Blacks did. And I think the All Blacks had to do it because they had to give Razor some security. Yeah. Otherwise, they would have lost Razor to, I think, Europe probably was his best bet. Um, I, I, I can only see us put all focus in retaining the World Cup. And I think they've made it quite clear that that's their goal. That was yeah. their goal. Mm. Whether we do it or not, I think the effort needs to be put in to win that World Cup. Um, hopefully for us as pundits, we do that because, you know, when the box loses, it's the hardest kick. Then yeah. we actually work not for true. our money. <laughs> like, sitting here talking and speculating is good fun. Um, yeah, so I think if we do announce a coach, it's going to be post the Rugby World Cup. And then, obviously, after every World Cup, um, there's a big fallout or big, you know, analysis going out. And we've got to pick out why it worked or didn't work. So yeah. it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while to appoint the next one. And... To be honest, this is a little bit quick on us. I, I actually don't know. I haven't given a thought who's going to take over. Yeah. And there's also going to be so many changes, personnel changes, oh, with so many of the players also calling time, probably. Yeah. And, their, I, and I think it's day. to be expected. You know, these are the guys that <clears throat> have been going uh, over 80 caps, 90 caps, and they're obviously getting on, on age as well. So the coach that comes in will have uh, uh, quite a job on his hands of rebuilding. And, uh, you know, I sit here and I'm thinking to myself, do we look, like you said, stick would be probably be one of the options, but then do we also look outside? We've, we haven't gone outside to find a coach. Maybe is it the time now or not? So it would be quite interesting to see those developments come about.